Hey chickadees! That one was for my aunt. Okay, so currently I am in my guest room, as you guys may know. And I am chilling in my Justin Timberlake shirt and some softy shorts because today is my last day of summer vacation. Just give me a minute. Yeah, today is my last day of summer vacation because I have school tomorrow. <sighs> Once again, summer went by like that. And I had a great summer. It was really great, actually. I did a lot of stuff and I always had things to do. I was a busy bee this summer. Well, I'm always a busy bee. But for this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about school, that dreadful topic that no one wants to talk about, but we all know that it's happening. For some of you guys, you might be in school already, and for some of you, you might go, maybe today was your first day, maybe tomorrow is like me, or whenever you guys go to school, but I just wanted to talk to you guys and give you some advice to make school a little, a little less dreadful. For you. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, no matter what grade you're going into, I feel like school is not that nerve-wracking to me anymore as it was when I was in like elementary school and middle school. And I just kind of got used to it. I mean, I just go and I go to my classes and then I come home. Now I know you guys may be nervous, especially if you're freshmen going into a new school, first year of high school and you're kind of nervous. I'm gonna tell you guys, my freshman year was not bad at all. It was actually a really great year for me, and if you guys don't know, I'm a sophomore this year, so I just had freshman year, so I remember it pretty well. But freshman year really wasn't that much to worry about. It actually went by really fast. I only had one hard class, and that was because of the teacher, but all of my other classes were actually really easy, and they were really easy to get a good grade in. When you go into school, just go in with like a positive attitude. You don't want to be that person that goes in and just hates everything in the world. You hate this, you hate that, you want to go home, you want to sleep for the rest of your life. Just go in there. I mean, you don't have a choice, to be honest with you guys. You have to learn. You have to learn to get a good job when you grow up, and you just, you have to do it. I mean, that's all I have to tell you guys. You can't make it change, because it's not going to change. It is going to happen whether you like it or not. So just make the best of it. You just have to walk into that school on the first day and be like, all right, this is my year. I am going to accomplish whatever I want to accomplish this year, because that is something good that you guys should be doing. You should be making goals for yourself and just something to let you know if you're doing something right or if you're doing something wrong. You can't just go and like play it on as it goes. Kind of, You have to make plans and you have to make goals and that will really help you a lot this year, trust me. Also, no matter how dumb you think it is or how hard it may be, you always have to do your work. I mean, I know that's kind of like like, Art Mallory, you know that, like, can you tell someone? I know it's kind of obvious to tell you guys, but it really is true, because if you think about it, your high school years and just your school years in general really make up what is going to happen in the future. So if you get good grades and you work really hard as a teenager, then your future will reflect off of that, so you will have a great future. But if you don't, then you're going to be struggling to find a job, struggling to make money, and it's just... You, need, you just you need to do your work. I mean, it's as simple as that. I mean, what I usually do if I'm having trouble with an assignment or if I just don't understand it at all, I will ask my friends who are in that class with me, and if you don't really have any friends in that class, then make some because the more people you know and the more people that you talk to and that you're close to, the better your high school years will be, trust me. That, I mean, I've only been on high school for a year. This is my second year into high school, but I've made so many new friends in freshman year, and they really helped me a lot. And if you have more friends, that means that you can talk to like different kinds of people, and you're not just around one kind of person. You really talk to like all of them, and that's really important too, is to just go into school thinking that you can talk to anyone. I mean, you can go in there, you can literally talk to any person that you want and become friends with them. Also, I would say just to be nice to everyone you meet. I mean, you don't know what people are going through and you don't know anything about the people when you first meet them, but just be nice to everyone because, like, really, why... I don't understand why some people are just so rude to people for no reason and that just makes no sense to me, so just go in there and just be nice to everyone, talk to everyone, put yourself out there. I mean, that's really 
one of the big things about high school is that you have to get involved and you have to put yourself out there. You gotta talk to people. Like, you gotta try new things, join new clubs. Like for me, my freshman year, I did volleyball and I did like some other stuff too. But this year, I'm going to do more. I'm doing volleyball plus all the other stuff I did plus tennis. I'm gonna try out for tennis. So also, I would just say get involved because that makes high school a lot more fun because you get to meet new people. Whether you're doing a sport or an activity or you're in the play, the musical, whatever you're doing, you get to meet more people and you get to have a lot of fun and. It's just a lot better. So it just gets you out of the house and it gets you busy. Now, if you don't like being busy, then I don't know what to tell you because in high school you're going to be a very busy girl, boy, student, whatever you are. And I just say you have to get used to it. So I would start being busy like as soon as you can, trying out new things, doing all that kind of stuff. Plus you make a lot more memories that way. And I mean, when you grow up, you don't want to look back at high school and be like, wow, I don't remember anything about high school. You want to look back and be like, oh my gosh, I remember when we were on the volleyball team and so-and-so did this or so-and-so did that. Or I remember when I was in the play and that second night something like happened or something, I don't know. Just like memories and you have to, you really just have to have fun with whatever you're doing and don't join something just to like join it and just say you're in it. You have to actually have a passion for it and that's really the important thing is to don't do, don't do something you don't like. Honestly, just do something that makes you happy and you just, you gotta, you gotta do something, you know what I mean? You just gotta, you gotta be happy, that's the number one thing that I would say. Not only should you be nice to all the students and your friends and all that stuff, but you also need to be nice to your teachers because they're the ones that are grading you and you need to make them like you. That is so important. Because especially last year, I figured out that once my teachers like started to feel comfortable around me and they started to like me, then that made the class a whole lot easier just because you know the teacher a little more and you know that they like you and you just, you are more like involved with that class, then they tend to grade you less harshly. That's what I'm trying to say. They grade you less harshly. They grade you less harshly and they help you out a lot more, which I found is really great. Not having people not like you. Wait, hold on. So having people like you instead of not liking you also puts a lot less stress onto you because you know that these people are nice to you and they don't hate you and they don't want to like hurt your feelings or whatever. Like that just puts so much less stress on yourself so you can worry about other things like your schoolwork and your activities and all that, whether than having to worry about your friends and your teachers and all that stuff because you really you have to try to get as much stress as you can out of your system throw it out the window throw it like two million miles away go throw it on top of the Egyptian pyramid or something just get it out of your system and you just need to focus on everything that you have to instead of all of the things that you don't and just remember you are a human you are not some kind of robotic person that is perfect in every single way and gets everything done right on time and all that stuff. You are a human, so pe some people need to realize that you are not going to be perfect. No one is perfect, I'm not perfect. And you just need to realize that you are going to make mistakes and you're going to maybe do things that you didn't necessarily want to do or anything like that. But you just have to realize that that happens to everyone and you just gotta let it go. That's one of my top priorities right now is you just you just have to let it go and you have to move on to things and you can't keep negativity in your life. You just gotta focus on the positive things and keep smiling. Yeah. Okay, not like that, but like this. Do not be afraid to ask people for help, whether it be your friends, your teachers, your parents, anyone. You are not in this alone. You can ask people for help. I mean, some people are so scared of asking for help that they'd rather just like fail the assignment, but honestly, that's not worth it. Just go up to someone and ask them because most likely they will help you and you will get a better grade on that project than you would have if you didn't ask anyone. Don't procrastinate. That's the one thing that I have to tell you guys. You cannot, well, that's not the only thing because I've told you guys like 20 million different things in this video, but you cannot procrastinate. I am just telling you that now. I would procrastinate so much and it would just leave me like a wreck and I could just like, I didn't have any sleep. I didn't, I couldn't like sleep at all and I just, yeah, so don't procrastinate. Just get things done when they need to be done. Get things done early. Turn them in early if you can, just so you know that they're out of the way. And you just, you have to do it on time. You can't wait till the last minute because then it won't be your best work and you will, 
be stressed out to the max and that is not good so just don't procrastinate. You also are going to have to learn how to manage your time wisely especially if you are really really busy like I always am. I have learned to manage my time in a way that works for me and you will have to do the same thing in a way that works for you. So. I have a lot going on in my life, whether I'm in school or on summer vacation or whatever I'm doing, I always have a lot going on. I am never, like, not doing anything. I'm always doing something and I'm always out and about and doing something or at home having to do something. Like, for school, I have, first of all, I have school, I take all honors, I have such hard classes and I have a lot of homework for those classes and then I also have volleyball. I made it on the varsity volleyball team this year as a sophomore. I'm the only sophomore that made it this year and I'm the youngest one but I'm also the tallest so you know. Woo! Also I'm in orchestra. I have to practice a lot for orchestra and then I also want to spend time with my family and my friends and just all of that stuff adds up and also I have like other stuff to do. I have volleyball tournaments when I'm not at school and I practice every day. I'm not going to get home until at least 7 every single day and I get at the school for like 7. So I'm going to be there for at least 12 hours every day. Sometimes I'll be there longer when we have games. But yeah, I don't have much time to mess around. I go to school and then I'm going to do my homework and then after school I, no wait, I'm gonna go to school, do my work, and then after school I'm gonna have homework that I have to do, and then I'm gonna have volleyball practice, then I'm gonna come home and do whatever I have to do at home, and then I go to sleep and it starts all again the next day. That just escalates throughout the year as I get more work, more stuff to do, and I have gotten really used to it because I'm just a busy bee. I'm so busy, I'm always busy, and I just... I'm the busiest person I know, to be honest with you guys. I mean, all of my friends, whenever I talk to them, they're like, Oh my god, Mallory, when do you not have plans? And I'm like, never. <laughs> me telling this to you guys, I'm just saying you have to manage your time wisely. Make lists, make plans, make whatever you have to do. Give yourself reminders, do all that stuff, and just don't waste any time because there's only 24 hours in a day. And trust me, if I could have like double that in a day, I would in a heartbeat. So just to let you guys know, like don't waste your time, do what has to be done and get it done before the deadline. That is my motto, done before the deadline. That's not really my motto, I just kind of made it up. But yeah, just you have to you have to learn how to manage your time wisely and if you need help you can message me or tweet me or anything and I will try my best to help you guys because coming from me I pretty much know what I'm talking about. I mean, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, I would just say manage your time wisely, don't procrastinate, be nice to everyone, get involved, and most important thing is just to have fun. I mean, I know it's school, but if you look at school with a negative aspect and you look at it like everything about school is bad, then you would not have a good time. You just need to go and think of, okay, if I get through this day and then I get to go home and I get to eat whatever I want and I get to play volleyball and do all that, and you just you have to look at it in a positive way. You gotta be optimistic. Don't go thinking that everything sucks because it really doesn't. I mean, some of the work may suck and maybe like some of the teachers, if you don't like them, then they may suck too, but you just have to learn how to deal with it and you just have to look at the positive things in life and be optimistic about it. So that's about it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. I hope I gave you some good information, good tips to you guys. If you have any questions, please tweet them to me or leave a comment below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me so I know that I give you guys some good advice. And I will talk to you guys later. I love you guys all so much and good luck in school. If you need any help, like I said, just ask me and I will do my best to help you. And yeah, so I'm gonna get going. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I love you all so much. Bye! It's so hot in my house, I can't even. I literally can't even. Ew, I sound so dumb. The end of bed! Oh my gosh, it's missing. Bye.